Brian Dulesky with Able Distributors. Today, I'm talking about primary secondary piping and a new product we just brought in to make life a lot easier. So this is a drawing, my crude drawing, of a TRX boiler from NTI. It's got a pump built in. Now, if you're doing primary secondary with another boiler that doesn't have a pump built in, like our TFTN, you would put the pump on the return side, push through the heat exchanger, and be good, and then have pumps on your supply pushing through the field. Primary secondary, all it does is give us, us a spot where if you're not getting enough flow through the system, the boiler can stay perfectly happy and it'll just recirculate water around. So if you have three or four pumps down line and only one is running, this boiler might require more flow to keep the, the water at a constant temperature. So it allow it to just go through this closely spaced T's. And as the name implies, two T's closely spaced, there's a calculation for how far apart these T's should be. So we brought in this device and I really love it a lot because it doesn't make your life easier. No more calculations, it's engineered out for you. The beauty is it's got a valve in between. So what that allows you to do is when this pump is running, when these pumps are running, you can close that valve in between the two T's and then you can purge out all the air from the whole system faster and easier than having some of the air bubbles just skate through and not go through the boiler. So what you do is you bleed out the air of your whole system with this valve closed. Once you've got all the air out, you're gonna open the valve. So now you've got your closely spaced T's. Like I said earlier, there's some mathematical calculations that you have to have with T's. And even with this, there's still some things you need to remember. You don't want a pump, a T, an elbow, anything. Figure eight inches each side. It's not the exact calculation, but if you keep that in your mind, it's easy to remember. And what you're gonna do is have nothing on the supply side. You'll have your pumps down line. Again, no T's, no elbows within eight inches of the return line. We want that water flowing steady so that this pump on the boiler can choose whether or not there's enough flow going through the whole thing or if it has to recirculate some. So we've got this in inch an inch and a quarter to make your life super, super easy. Love it. Now there's another way to do primary secondary other than closely spaced T's, and that would be the hydro separator. Now this one does a few more functions than this. Now there is a cost difference. Maybe it's a space difference. Maybe you can't fit this and you're gonna go with this, or maybe you have to elbow right off the bottom of the boiler and you just don't have room to go down to this. So this actually does, it's got a spot here for a temperature pressure gauge. It's got an air separator up on top. It's got a magnet that'll catch any ferrous debris as it goes by on the return side. And it's got a drain, so after it catches debris, you can drain that stuff off and it actually has a connection there for a garden hose. So the hydro sep, is different than closely spaced T's because there's not as much rules. If you can get to it, you're good. You'll always want your supply, your hottest water on the top and it's gonna go straight through. You always want your coldest water, your return on the bottom and it's gonna go straight through. No crisscrossing in here, it's gotta go straight through. And there's reasons for that. So when we bring the hottest water across the top, the hottest water is the easiest place to get out the bubbles of air. So of course, having the hottest water closest to the air separator just makes more sense. On the return side, we know that as we come into this chamber, we lose a little bit of pressure. So as it comes through, you've got a magnet to catch any ferrous debris. Any other debris will just, any heavy particles will just sit at the bottom until we drain them off. So this device does far more than this. No rules, you can tee, you can do whatever you want going to this. You can put this any, anywhere you want. So if you had no room and this had to be eight feet away, you'd be golden. All you gotta do is remember, supply in on the top, return back on the bottom. The pump, again, this is a TRX, it's got a built-in pump. If it wasn't, you'd put a pump here, pump into the return, and then you have your supply 
your uh, zone pumps after the hydro separator. That's the difference between closely spaced T's and the hydro separator. Now, the new product is this. Again, it's an inch, an inch and a quarter. And this is really important to me because I go on a lot of jobs and what they consider closely spaced T's, they're not closely spaced, they're not installed properly. Just because you have two T's someplace in the system does not make it work like a primary, secondary, closely spaced T's. So this takes all the guesswork out of it, makes your life super, super simple, makes it so you can purge out the air, get all the air out of the boiler, everything like that, faster and easier. And I absolutely love it. And if you ever had to drain off one side or the other, you could separate this. So if you were doing a repair or work on one, the return or the supply, if you have other valves out there, you can isolate it off. I think it's a, a genius way of doing it. Again, we have these an inch, inch and a quarter, only in press. Brian Dulesky, Able Distributors, thank you. <laughs>